Hi, so we're going to make our own model of our folding James Webb Space Telescope. Here's the one I made earlier, and we're going to make a brand new one that folds like this one. So you're going to need your templates or straws, either the flexible ones, or if you have unflexible ones, you can make them flexible with a little bit of pipe cleaner inserted into each end. And that's All right, I'm going to pause the video while I cut out my sections. Once you have them cut out, use a hole punch wherever there's a grey circle. As long as a straw can fit through it, it'll push it into the right size. Now we're going to fold and assemble both the spacecraft bus and the main module. So we're going to fold wherever there's a dashed line because we've cut wherever there was a solid line. Notice we have the holes labeled. That helps you work out how you're connecting one straw to another, which holes they're going through. And so that makes the spacecraft bus. Let's get our mirror assembled. So the, the primary mirror has a main section with folding edges, which we will attach at the back via these hinges. Now we'll make the sun shield. So you will have a paper template, which is half the sun shield that needs, needs to be placed on the fold. The sun shield is designed to keep the James Webb primary mirror and equipment cold. So the sun shield reflects the sunlight and has a hot side and a very, very cold side. So something shiny will capture the essence of that. And your template goes up against the fold. All right, and then we just cut around the outside. Now we have our sun shield ready we will make the sunshield supports that are taped to the underside of the sunshield. The sunshield supports need to be made out of straws in roughly a long rectangle. Hinges will join together and then a rounded section at each side. The width that this is needs to be the same as the spacecraft bus. And if you're measuring, I think we have this at four centimeters. Now these two will join together in the center of the bus. So Pinch and connect, and then push straight through. And the two hinges need to be on the outside of the bus. Check our overall length. We're looking at it to be about 38 centimeters so that the sun shield will be attached at each end. So once we have this the right length, we are going to attach it to the underside of the sun shield with the side with the hole facing into the sunshield. 
attach the ends of the sun shield to the support structure and turn it over. So there are two lower secondary mirror supports that connect to another two joined flexible corners, putting the hinge at the bottom so that the mirror can be folded for launch and unfolded in space. So we now have the lower secondary mirror supports. The upper secondary mirror support is made by three straws. One which will go through all the way down and come out of the hole at the bottom. And then two which will bend and offer the support. So here is the pre-made one. So we'll need to cut one down and the other one so that we have a hinge in the center. The total length of this will be 16 centimeters. So this is already 16 centimeters. So if we cut it about in half, Similarly, these bottom pieces should be 16 centimeters. Now we can attach the primary mirror here, the secondary mirror is attached at the end of the secondary mirror support. So now we have the mirror primary and secondary in place. We now need to mount this onto our sun shield and spacecraft bus. So we'll cut away a section here, revealing the spacecraft bus. So you can mark it. And cut away. And as long as we've revealed the C2 hole, we'll be able to mount, tape that in place, a little bit of tape to hold it, and then we can mount To hold the sun shield open, you can use either an off cut or a new straw if you like into the sun shield side supports. And there we have our completed model. We'll now get our completed model ready for launch, which means it has to fit inside the rocket represented here by the two litre soft drink bottle. So remove the side supports, roll up the sun shield, fold the secondary mirror supports so that the secondary mirror is above the ISIM. So fold all the way over and back and you can see the lower supports fold, the upper support folds in half. Then bring the sides of the mirror, primary mirror to the side and fold the sun shield supports fully up. This is the launch configuration, and as you can see, it fits inside our rocket.
We just need to get ready for launch.